Hi everyone, welcome to the third tutorial for Camera Sim. In this one, we're going to take a look at shutter speed priorities. So we're going to click on this radio button here. And remember that on our camera, that is represented by S on the dial. So if we're concerned about making sure we have really clear pictures that are not blurry, we might want to focus on shutter speed priority. If I go down to the bottom here and move our shutter speed, you can see that as it changes, the aperture changes as well. So if I'm telling the camera to be open for a very short period of time, like 1 over 2000, the camera actually tries to adjust the aperture and make the hole as large as possible because it's open for such a short period of time. So you can see that changing as I move this back and forth. Now in fact if I try to use a really fast shutter speed, so this is 1 over 4 thousandths of a second, we go up here you can see that the speed is 1 over 4 thousand but the aperture is flashing and what that means is you've got such a fast shutter speed that the aperture cannot adjust to compensate and we're going to have a low amount of light so it's going to be underexposed. So if we just try this to see what happens we'll go and we'll take the picture and we'll see if that's what happens. So we can see we've got an unhappy face here it is underexposed. So I'm going to go back to the viewfinder click on this here and let's just slide this back until we get our light meter right in the middle here so we can say that at one one thousandth of a second the aperture has adjusted to 2.8 and now we have the proper lighting conditions to take our photo this is a very fast shutter speed so everything should stop this pinwheel should be perfectly stopped and not blurry and even though she's moving back and forth, a fast shutter speed will stop all of that motion. So let's take the photo. Sure enough, we got a happy face here. We've got the pinwheel that's perfectly stopped. There's no blurry in this portion. Same with her. She is not blurry at all. Go back to the viewfinder. And we slide this back all the way to the left and let's see we set it to half a second so here this is telling us the camera is going to have a shutter speed of half a second which is a long time the aperture has adjusted making the hole as small as possible but it's flashing so what that means is it's trying to adjust the aperture but in this case here there's still going to be way too much light coming in. It's going to be overexposed, and we can see that on our light meter. So if we take the photo just to see what happens, sure enough, you can see that we are really overexposed. We've got an unhappy face here. We've let in way too much light into the camera. So if I adjust the shutter speed back to this middle position so the lighting looks correct we've got a shutter speed of 1 over 15 of a second which isn't overly fast the aperture has adjusted to an F number of 22 we snap the photo we still might see some things that are blurry which in fact we do we can see that the pinwheel is blurry not only that she is blurry too because she is moving back and forth so not a good photo our shutter speed was not fast enough so that's a quick look at shutter speed priority which is represented by s on your dslr camera in the next tutorial we'll take a look at some of these other settings over here on the left that's it we'll talk to you soon